Still no sign of a deal on federal spending cuts that are supposed to kick in on Friday. The plans include $600, mil, a $600 million reduction for the Federal Aviation Administration, potentially shutting down the control tower at the Rock County Regional Airport. News 3's Margot Spann has the details. Operating seven days a week, the Southern Wisconsin Regional Airport is a busy place, but not by FAA standards. The last couple of years we've been over 50,000. 50,000 operations per year. An operation is a landing or a takeoff. The director, Ron Burdick, says their five part-time control tower staffers could lose their jobs if federal cuts go into effect. He says a manned control tower is safer for travelers and better for the local economy. One of the top 10 items that a company looks at is what type of airport you have, the size of the airport, uh, type of aircraft you can handle in and out. SC Aviation operates charter service out of the airport. A company spokesman says they'd feel safer having eyes on the ground. The lack of people on the tower would diminish the safety of operations a bit. Secondarily, from an efficiency standpoint, we'd be looking at possible delays, thus making it harder to serve our customers in the end. SC Aviation's six jets will remain in Janesville and the airport will stay open. Burdick says the federal cuts could keep some businesses out of the area. It may not be as um, likable to say uh, airport that has a tower. It has that safety factor of a tower there for the users to get in and out. Despite handling everything from small planes to Air Force One, the FAA is targeting Janesville's airport because they're looking to cut airports that do less than 150,000 either takeoffs or landings per year. Just another impact of the uh, potential sequester, Margot Spann.